Bismillah, Salat, Wassalam, Ala Rasulillah. Hello, guys. Today we have a revision for quiz three. First question: Find the product of three thousand seventy-one times three. So, I will multiply three thousand seventy-one multiplied by three. As we know, in multiplication, we begin from right to left and multiply this number with each digit in that number 3 times 1 equals what? of course 3 3 times 7 equals 21 we cannot put it all so I will put 1's digit and carry up 2 3 times 0 is 0 and we have 2 so it will be 0 plus 2 equals 2 3 times 3 equals 9 so the answer is 9213 which is B. Second question. Find 7,532 times 6. Enter your answer in the box. By the same way, I will write 7,532 multiplied by 6. 6 times 2 equals 12, 2 and carry up 1. 6 times 3 equals 18, and we have 1, so it will be 19, 9 and carry up 1. 6 times 5 equals 30 plus 1, so it will be 31, 1 and carry up 3. And 6 times 7 equals 42, and we have 3, so it will be 45. So the answer will be 45,192. Next question. A shoe store sold 1,093 pairs of shoes one month. At this rate, how many pairs of shoes will be sold in four months? We have 1,093 in one month. So in four months, it will be 1,093 times 4. 4 times 3 equals 12, 2 and carry up 1. 4 times 9 equals six, 36 plus 1, 37, 7 and carry up 3. 4 times 0 is 0 and we have 3. 4 times 1 is 4. So the answer will be D, 4,372. Next one. The fuel tank of a cruise ship holds 28,665 barrels of gasoline. A fuel tanker holds 5,312 barrels of gasoline. Can five fuel tankers fill the cruise ship's tank? Explain. Choose yes or no to tell if the explanation and answer are correct. 28,665 minus 5,312 or 23,353 barrels are needed. So the tankers cannot fill the ship's tank. Five tankers hold 26,560 barrels. This is less than 28,665, so the tankers can fill the ship's tank. Here, guys, we have 5,312 and we want to uh, fill the tank of 5 tankers. So we will multiply 5,312 multiplied by 5. Let us check. 5 times 2 equals 10, 0 and k up 1. 5 times 1 equals 5 plus 1 equals 6. And 5 times 3 equals 15, 5 and carry up 1. 5 times 5 equals 25, and we have 1, so it will be 26. So if you check here, you will find the answer, this one. This is the right answer. Next. What is...
What is 1,736 times 8? Enter your answer in the box. Here we we'll multiply 1,736 times 8. 8 times 6 equals, of course, 48, 8 and get a 4. 8 times 3 equals 24, and we have 4. So it will be 28, 8 and carry up 2, 8 times 7 equals 56, and we have 2, so it will be 58, 8 and carry up 5, 8 times 1 is 8, plus 5 equals 13. So the answer will be 13,888. Next one. Frank multiplied 7 and 528 and got the product 3,696. Which estimate shows that his answer is reasonable? Okay, so we have 528 multiplied by 7. If we use rounding, you will find here this 500 multiplied by 7, which is 3,500, which is D. Next question. In March, Mateo ran 19 miles. In April, he ran twice as many miles as he ran in March. In May, he ran four times as many miles as he did in April. How many total miles did Mateo run in the three months? Enter your answer in the box. Here, we have three months with R, March, April, and May. In March, here, run 19. In April, twice as March, so it will be 19 times 2, which is 38. In May, he ran four times as many as April, so it will be 38 times 4, which is 152. So now, the total in three months, we will add 19 plus 38 plus 152, which is 209. Next question. Mr. Powell wants to buy a refrigerator that costs $1,232. He can pay the total all at once, or he can make a one-time payment of $450, plus a $140 payment each month for six months. How much can he save by paying the total all at once? Let us compare... If he paid for hundred for uh, fifty dollars and one hundred forty uh, for six months as an installments, it will be one hundred forty times six zero down twenty four and six times one four uh, six times one six plus two equals eight plus. 450 it will be total 1290 but if he paid for one time it will be 1232 so now what is the difference 1290 minus 1232 it will be 58 which is D. Next. Use basic facts and patterns to find the product of the problem below. All of us know that 7 times 1 equals 7. So 70 times 1 equals 70. And we have 70 times 10 equals 700. Just we put 
zeros down so it will be B next find the missing factor enter your answer in the box 40 times equals 2800 here we have one zero so one zero here neglecting the other one you have 28 and you have here four four times one equals 28 yes of course four times seven equals 28 if you put here two zeros it means you have here and you have here one zero it means you have here also one zero so it will be 70 next a library has 40 shelves each shelf has 50 books write and solve an equation to find the total number of books on the shelves 40 shelves times 50 books it will be two zeros down and four times five equals 20 which is 2000 and the answer would be C next when you multiply 20 times 50 how many zeros are in the product 20 times 50 you have here two zeros already and 2 times 5 equals 10 so total you have three zeros next Mr. Cho walks to work three days a week. The other two days he takes the bus. Mr. Cho works 48 weeks each year. Which of the following expressions can Mr. Cho use to mentally find the number of days he takes the bus? He has two days for 48 weeks. So it will be 2 times 48. Break apart 48 into 40 plus 8 using distributive property. Here it's breaking apart, break apart, and here distributive, distributive property. So it will be what? It will be 2 times 40 plus 2 times 8 which is D. Thanks for listening and Assalamu alaikum.